Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. Eastern Security Network has arrested a notorious bandit leader and his gang, Mohammed Issa. Alright guys, please before we get into this news, if you're just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing, please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe, also on the notification button. In that way, anytime we upload a new video, they will notify you and I pray that the same way you all are supporting us in this channel, God will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life. In Jesus' name, amen. And this news here reads, IPOB leader Mazin Namdekano has revealed that the Eastern Security Network, ESN, has captured a notorious bandit leader, Mohammed Issa, and his gang. In a statement to newsmen, the Probiafra activists commended the ESN for their work to rid the Southeast of all forms of criminality. According to Mazen Namdakano, Issa has been terrorizing peaceful farming communities in Benue and nearby states. The IPOB leader also warned Mieti Ala and their sympathias to stay clear of all farmlands and forests in the zone. I commend men and women of the Northern Command of the Eastern Security Network, ESN, for the successful capture of Mohammed Issa, the notorious leader of bandits and killers in Lower Benue, Namda Kano said. This individual and his gang of murderers have been terrorizing peaceful farming communities in Benue and nearby states. I retreated my warning to Mieti Allah and their sympathias in Asorok that our noble quest to rid our land of all manner of criminality, ostensibly terrorists and killers, we continue unbated until our farmlands and forests are safe and secure. Alright guys, and uh, that is it for you all. It is a welcoming development. Kudos to the Eastern Security Network. You can imagine how these people manage to mount themselves in every zone, terrorizing the villagers. You can imagine. So all these things, then we would they cry, ah, all these full and people people, we just they terrorize us. They just get one or guy for one side, maybe say, now nah, they send them message, say, oh yeah, now like this, see, be, move. They will move. Oh yeah, now like this, you will move. So in every, and when these people were coming, a lot of folks, we said it, we cried out, but nobody, a lot of people did not take it serious. Now they have succeeded in compassing every part of the region. Today, Nana, is not a very big problem to us. Unless, thank God for the Eastern Security Network. Thank God for the wisdom that some regions, they are not setting up a security outfit. If not, what would have become of us now that these people are everywhere? Thank God for the good job that all these security outfits are, are doing. If not, hmm, only God know. Just look at a notorious Fulani warlord arrested in southwest another one arrested in southeast so not only all these ones though, they still get many many of them for different corner uh, because they will never know them and until we fish them out they will continue to terrorize they will continue to commit havoc in those communities where they are and this thing is that the problem now is that it's not only them they are importing more people to the south they are bringing more people to the start to the to the south. I posted a video where I show you guys how these people they pack themselves inside trailer. Nobody knows where they are coming from and where they are going to. Any community where they land, all those ones them now. Any community where they land, na wala na war. So not only God will save us for the for these people and because if you even see the way they say they claim entitlement for land where you no know get. For community where for be stranger, you can't be like say maybe now you can't be landlord, now you can't be high chief of the town, and so therefore now the one way you talk now you go stand, now your word now you be finer. Anybody we no agree with you, the person can get out. So the thing they very pathetic, eh? I see one with all boldness and confidence. It just they talk and we say the anger no good. Anywhere where they come, if they verse, they go kill anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and the worst part of it be say this federal government they go hear this kind of thing 
they go pay deaf ear. Now that one self not even still they wonder me. Because this government, they've lost every sense of shame. Because if it comes to uh if it comes to we the people from the south, at least we don't see talk this thing reach to the extent where we so at least may they still take action to come out the shame for their eye, but no, with this government, it will be like that. So they will hear all this statement, this kind of statement from these people. At the end of the day, they will pay deaf ear to it. It will just look as if maybe nothing, but just mistakenly arrest any of them. Mistakenly wound any of them. Not even kill them, or just injure them and see what will happen. If you even arrest them now, just one call from Abuja. Now maybe they vest for people when they arrest them, they hand them over to police. Eh? So if you, you just mistakenly arrest them now, before you know, they tell you say you don't come outside. Just look at the one they arrested in this thing. Like play, like play, like play, like play. Before you know now, they go free that man. That man will come outside again. Then that community don't finish. Because when they come outside this time around, there, eh? <laughs> now bruta, this time around, you come out 10 times. Worse than the way they did before. And you go ask, who they give them all those weapons, then whether they use the operate, who they equip them. The federal government go tell you, say, now nah, drug baron. <laughs> Kai, you see, uh, these people, uh, whether they, they take, say, everybody, whether the country, eh, just do like that. Everybody know your guest sense. When they talk like this, we know they understand. In fact, now anything we inject for where you inject for our brain, now our brain go feel carry. Whether they did not so that they reason before they come as I come make some of those stupid statements where they come make sometimes. I don't know. Because they, they just it they be me sometimes when are they reason how these people they talk sometimes they come they think ah whether these people think maybe now small small children, five years now that they talk to. Because if they did reason before they come outside, can't talk all those nonsense. Therefore, no, they talk. Imagine telling us that all these Fulani terrorists are being equipped by drug barons. Does it make sense at all? They say maybe we not get access to internet. We don't know what thing they happen. We know they we know they see. We know they watch. We still they use our number six. They think come to talk of when they be see this era of internet, social media, anything where they happen with the CN. And recently, I posted a video where a Fulani man said it, that this gun that they are using are being supplied to them by this government. A Fulani man, he said it. He said he's not afraid to die because even the way he is, he, don't, he doesn't know what to do with his life. You will come out and you will tell us that the weapons are being supplied to them by drug barons. Mm. Now, wow. <laughs> now, now, very well for this particular country because if I say me, as I did so, I know tired for this country, eh? I did lie with that. So, uh, that is it for you, all my people. I commend the Eastern Security Network for a job well done. The thing now is that they are everywhere. And like I said before, until we fish them out, they will continue to commit havoc. But one thing for sure is that God will surely expose them one after the other. He has already started wonders. So what he has started in our land, he will perfect it. And uh, that is it for you all. I'm just going to leave you all to share your opinion with me on the comment section and with that i will say thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you for watching to this point of this video your love your support and effort upon this channel is not taken for granted so let me know what you think and i will see you all in my next video bye bye bye